Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me and this is another episode of the box openings and reviews from bespokepost.com and I got my next box in here, it's Hecho or if you say it a little more accurately, Echo, the H would be silent. Uh, that being of course in Spanish. So let's go ahead and open it up and we'll get into it and see, you know, what all there's there is in this box and what we're really dealing with. Because this is a pretty big box. This is the biggest box I've gotten from them so far. First thing up is uh, they had some some cards here. And uh, they're talking about uh, Father's Day and, and things like that. So uh, they gave me three of them. I don't know why they really need to give me that many. But it was uh, one of those things of, you know, these boxes are generally geared towards, uh, towards the fellas in your life. And they, uh, of course, are thinking, like I said, there's the Father's Day stuff that's coming up. So that uh, would be something to, uh, to consider. Um, now here we have, of course, their their welcome card, and their welcome card is a little bit different than it has been. Now it is more of a fold-out book. Um, I kind of upgraded the last, I think, in the last video that we had, and uh, as you can see, this has stuff about building tacos and build a better taco and everything, and it has some of the some of the things that are kind of in the kit. So. Now we'll get to one of the simple things that's right there, and here it is. We've got a, a stainless steel, and it's a blue-colored uh, taco rack. So you got your tacos, and you can set them up right there and put them up like that instead of leaving them sideways on the plate, and you can sit there and fill them up the way you want. So we've got that going on right there, and it's pretty nice. Pretty nice little thing, kind of cool looking, um, especially with that blue. It's kind of kind of neat. Um, then we're going to go ahead with this next box. This was a, a heavier box um, and inside here we have a card that has a couple of different recipes. Mango guacamole and then on the other side oh it's the Spanish. Um, so one one recipe just done in English or Spanish. So if you are uh, a Spanish speaker uh, there you go so but uh, that is the the mango guacamole or the guacamole de mango now just looking at it I'm sure you can kind of tell what it is it's basically a pestle and grinder um, and uh, you know that is for mashing up all of your different different uh, pieces uh, for you know making up your tacos sitting there maybe mashing up uh, the herbs and spices and things that you may be using. They call it a mortal, mortar and pestle and uh, this actually is real granite. Uh, this this thing's heavy. Um, I'm gonna say this thing's probably five pounds right here. Uh, it's, it is definitely not light. Um, it is not polished either. It is, it is a relatively, you know, you can, they sat there and ground it out and you can feel some of the kind of the cut lines from when they were digging it out and everything. And same with this. It, it's not a polished edge on this. But, I mean, this here, is, this here is probably a pound, pound and a half on its own. So definitely don't want to drop this on your foot. Uh, if, if you do that, I hope you already have a cast on there because that's about the only thing that's going to keep it from hurting your foot any more than that. Uh, now we'll go into this one. And uh, as it says on the top there, it does say, go beyond heat. Now, since we're talking about tacos, I'm sure you can probably guess what that might be for. Uh, on the back end here, it does show uh, a bunch of things in here. It says that there are four hot sauce bottles. Uh, there is a fine mesh strainer, a steel funnel, and two chili spice blends. And then it says how it works. The basic concept is combine, combine the chili spice blend with vinegar. Uh, simmer in a pan. It see comes with a, uh, a little card here. It says the, the foragers blend and the grove blend. And there's two different, uh, two different recipes there. And then it has the basic instructions right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
here first thing it's easiest to get to there is our metal strainer which is very nice we've got our our first blend and this is the Grove blend from the Chili Lab. Uh, let's see, we've got the next one here. And this one is the, uh, the Chili Lab's, uh, the Forager blend. You know, this one says, oh, well, if you read it here, it does say red berries, uh, wood smoke, earth. So I guess maybe that's kind of what the, the flavorings are. Um, on this one it says citrus, green herbs, and cut grass. And then we've got these here. So look at that. Oh, nice little flask there with a uh, with an actual cork capper on top. Anyhow, you know, there we go. We've got uh, the seasonings there. We've got the bottles. We've got the strainer here to do that. And then we've got uh, we've got the uh, the pestle and grinder. Oh, guys, and here, one thing uh, I almost didn't see was, uh, here it is, uh, and I know I mentioned it, and I thought there was something else, but I didn't happen to see it when I first did it, but here it is. Here's a little funnel to go ahead and fill up your vials so that, uh, you know, when you're when you're doing it. So now you can sit there and pour it, pour it in, and you can pour it down, and you'll go through your strainer and then into your into your funnel so you're not dumping it all over the place with your uh, with your vials when you're trying to fill it up. All in all, this is a, a pretty neat kind of little setup, uh, you know. Uh, get what we need, grind stuff up, throw it in there, take the bottles and pour the little hot sauce in our tacos or whatnot and, and uh, have at it. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. This is, of course, a basic review at least of the Bespoke Post Hecho uh, box here. And of course, that's bespokepost.com. Of course, you can visit them in the link down below. You can see our social media down there as well. And, uh, you know, while you're on your way down there, go ahead and leave that thumbs up button. And, you know, you can also hit that uh, subscribe button, which there'll be a little a little icon here floating around. I think it'll be somewhere in that area. Uh, if not, you can go ahead and right down there, there is that subscribe button. That's it for me today. I am Cougar with World of Me and the BespokePost.com review series that I have going on here on World of Me. I will see you guys all later and have a good day. Bye.